thank you all for attending the press conference today. Obviously, we've got a few games coming up, and we've also got transfer deadline day, so I'm happy to take any questions starting from you. It's obviously transfer deadline day. Who are you going to bring into the squad? Um, in terms of signings, I'm not going to give away any names, but there's a few positions I would like to look at. Maybe another winger to come off the bench, and maybe another left back. But, you know, I'm going to play everything in hand. I don't know what's going to happen in terms of player outs and play in. Obviously, there's still some players I want to loan out, such as Rodrigo Ribeiro. Hopefully, he gets loaned out. You know, we've got a few suitors coming in for him, but I think it's best for him to get game time, especially with the three strikers we have already. I'll be looking out to loan some other players. So I won't give you any names, but those are the positions that I'm looking for. So next question. Uh, you. Good eye, mate. You obviously lost against Maury and Ince, but what is the plan after a loss like that? You know, the loss against uh, Moriens is is definitely not planned, but you have to remember Ruben Amrim lost his uh, first few games with Sporting as well. He, he lost them quite early. He lost to Benfica, I'm pretty sure. He's lost to, you know, LSK. He lost a lot of time. So if we compare myself to Ruben Amrim, that I don't think is, is that bad. And it's a shock result. The lads will learn from it. I've learned from it. So, you know, that's good. And also, what was that? Scottish accent, Australian accent? Sounds like the start of a bad joke. <laughs> But no, seriously. Uh, next question, uh, you. First of all, I have to say you're a very handsome man, but people have been criticising your signing of Adrian Silva. What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, thank you. I am very handsome, and you're not too bad yourself. Um, we do look quite alike, though. We sound quite similar, so I, I don't know if it's that. Yes, so the, the signing of Adrian, you know, he left it here on a sort of tumultuous circumstances, I would say. Um... But at the end of the day, he's coming here for experience. He might be a bit older, but he's a leader to have in the dressing room. He definitely can still play a part. He made a great pass to Jenny in one of the goals we had. So to me, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I think, you know, everyone likes him. He's he's old enough coming to the end of his career at the club where he had most success. To be fair, he was absolutely shit everywhere else. So it's not exactly difficult. But, you know, I, I'm glad to have him back. And, um, and yeah. Uh, you know, you've not used Paulinho a lot this season. What's happening? What's wrong with Paulinho? Are you not playing him? Are you going to sell him? What's going on? Yeah, so uh, Paulinho hasn't really been playing a lot because I've not been impressed with him in training. Um, I think in terms of goal scoring form, Jokres is obviously there scoring goals anyway, so it's not like we're missing a goal scoring presence. Maybe against the game against Morientz, but I think that will be uh, a one-off and this isn't Ponyo's road to glory where he's guaranteed to start every game make sure you watch that series in the description below but you know he has to improve in trading and you know there's still he still could be sold before the end of deadline day obviously I'm, I'm listening to offers for any of my players but some of them do have release clauses such as Maurice and Pedro Gonzalez will link to Newcastle and AC Milan so you know I'm going to take it uh, as it comes Paulinho will improve got a lot of games got the league cup we've got Tas de Portugal we've got the Europa League so we've got a lot of competitions that we're in. So, you know, he'll get his chance eventually. Yes, so ladies and gentlemen, we are back on another episode of FM, the third episode of the series. And of course, it's coming up to transfer deadline day, but we do have some games in between, if not maybe just this one. So we have Boa Vista, and I think we actually have Jules sent on deadline day. So we'll be playing those two and making some transfers as well, because then the international break comes up, and then we get to the cow, but... You know, so only two games a day. What we've seen so far, we're currently first. We have got uh, a game in hand on Benfica. Um, but Jokres is our top goal scorer with six. High average rate with Jokres as well. Hjormund and Trincao are the most assist. And Andrew, the best pass completion. Most player of the match awards goes to Jokres. And of course, looking at the schedule, we played Estrella de Amadora last episode and won 3-2 in a tight game. Smack put him minutes around 4-0. Moriens actually beat us 2-0, which was a, a, a sad sign. We beat Estoril 3-0. So... But Vista currently sat sit third apparently, so and they've got a, a decent team. Have they made any transfers this year? Uh, I don't think there's anyone else that's come in that is actually not on the game or like not in real life at least. I think these are all here. I don't think they sold anyone of note either. Uh, oh, they sold they sold Pedro uh, Maliero to Fulham for top point seven five million, and I think Ricardo Mangus as well. But I don't know. If, I think he's already given give reins. But yeah. So they sold a few players, but, you know, they're still a good team. So I guess we'll be on to that. Of course, transfer deadline day means that some transfers coming in. I've got my scouts looking. I'm looking, I think, I said in that press conference, probably looking for another winger. I think that might be the case. Because as much as I love Jenny and Trincao, I, need, I think I need someone else to cover for. 
Because like if Queen Cow comes off of let's say Pedro Gonzalez and then Edwards is there, if Edwards is playing shit, then I have Paulinho to bring in. But like Paulinho isn't really an out and out winger, nor is Rodrigo Ribeiro, nor is Magica. So maybe another winger. But of course we've still got a bit to go. So you know we'll reconvene when something happens, I suppose. So out on loan, Alfonso Moreno's actually got a goal. We've put in a good performance for seven point four pens on right winger. So he's developing nicely so far. I mean he's he's got good stats, but I think a good a year out on loan would be good for him. Four games in League 2 and two goals as well. So, and Asugo as well, quiet game, lost 3 2, 6.7, average rating, I suppose, decent game. He's struggling a bit of board though, but he's still got very good stats, still going up. So, I think this will be a good spell for him. And like I said, uh, Adrian probably only lost one season, so maybe Asugo comes back and, you know, we'll, we'll see from there, I suppose. But yeah, definitely two loan spells that are going very well. Uh, we're not over the top of the table because Porto smacked Vizela 6 1. And I was going to take a look at the dev center and loan to just see anyone else who's out on loan who we can't have the reports for. So Mateus Fernandez on loan at F. Real. He's got very high potential, very good stats as well. So he could be coming in soon as well. Guys like Tego Ferreira, I'm not really looking at. Abdul Fatal probably isn't going to come back anytime soon with his release clause. Samuel Justo hasn't played for Casapia yet, but still a long season. Sotilius has played one game so far and got one assist. So I don't think he will ever come back to be a good player, but definitely one we could sell on for something. Same with Tanalongo. Tanalongo is still 20 years of age, but, you know, he's, all, he's actually declining. So it's not good. But, you know, definitely some things to look out for. And obviously there's other guys like Nazinho out on loan, who was already here at the start of the game, who's played, uh, where is it? He's played four games. Vinagre too. Rochinha. There's loads of other players. But, of course, we'll have a look at the end of the season on those. And would you look at this? Ajax are keen on signing Paulinho. So they want 12.5 million for him. Paulinho is desperate to make the move happen. He's prepared to do whatever it takes to seal the deal. He wants the shortest game to play in time. Man, Paulinho, I'm gonna, don't make me sell you, please. You know you're my favourite. I've got your name up on the wall behind there next to that Dumbia shirt, which I'll, I'll fix in a minute. And that's not good. Rafa Mujica is out for two to five weeks. So if Paulinho does go, we only have one striker. So great timing. Oh, Neil. So this is the team we're going for against Bovista. Andrew in goal, Coates, Diamonde, Inacio, Nuno Santos, Hulman, Morita, Fresneda, Edwards, Pedro Gonzalez, and Jokres off the bench. Got guys like Esgayo, Brigant, Paulina Mateus Reis, Jenny, Trincao, Eduardo Cresman, Adrian Silva. A few guys unlucky not to make it. Maybe Gonzalo Estevez since he's got his new contract. And you know, there's also Rodrigo Rivera and a few others, Diego Brau that are here as well. Of course, Rafael Mujica is injured for a bit. So, what we're going to do, go into the game, hope to get a win. So, here we go. We're at the Bessa. They've got a good team. Bosnik is also very good in real life, so I want to watch out for. They've got a good team in general. But, you know, I feel like our team's stronger. But away from home, we've not been good. Obviously, the one time we were away from home was against um, Moriantz, and they ended up winning. So, I'm hoping that's not uh, a trend that continues, and hopefully we can go out. Do what we did against uh, Portimonense, which was a 4-0 win. And, you know, hopefully come away with the result. But, of course, long match, 90 minutes. Anything can happen, I suppose. It's Lorenzo on the ball. We need to stop this from happening. Is Shulman going to get there? No, he's not. That is one chance already for Bovista. Hopefully, that's the only chance in the first half. But you never know, knowing what's happened recently. So, let's encourage the boys to get back to it. Fresneda. Got the ball here. Let's go, Fresneda. Let's go on the counter. Still Fresneda. Coates. Coates to Edwards. Who finds Shulman? Shulman will find... Pedro Gonzalez, Pedro Gonzalez makes it 1-0. What a finish, what a good pass by Hulman as well. Really composed, good to tackle from Fresneda as well. You'd love to see it. 1-0 up, let's go. Keep it going. Great. Edwards, good pass to Hulman. Hulman doesn't bite, he could have done put Jokres through, but he waits for Pedro Gonzalez to get through his man. And Pedro Gonzalez could keep it down a little bit better, probably. But a good finish nonetheless. 1-0 Sporting, let's go. Fresneda, good throw to Morita. Hulman. Back to Fresneda. Fresneda, what can he do here? What a pass to Jokeres. What a save by Joao Gonzalez. But Jokeres is offside, unfortunately. But good movement nonetheless. That's what I like to see. Players attacking. Good passing. Neil Monde. Inacio. No, no, Santos. Hulmund. Good pass to Pedro Gonzalez. Pedro Gonzalez, what can you do for me? Pedro Gonzalez loses the ball. That's awful, awful dribbling there. What? I don't even know what he's trying to do. Can we get the ball back? Let's see if we can. Salvador Agra versus Nuno Santos. To Makuta. No, Makuta made a great run. 
man, just o opened up the defence, man. That's so poor. And Andrew, I think, could have done a bit better. Maybe Andrew isn't a good acquisition that I thought it was going to be. Let's just have a look here. No, let's obviously stick close to Salvador. Uh, I don't know where Edwards is going, but he should be marking his man. And then Coates lets him run straight through him. It's poor. And Andrew dives, like, before the shot's even taken. So, not good, not positive, but still time in the game. But that's not filling me with a lot of confidence, to be honest. No, Santos, cool. Good tackle. Morita. Hulmund. Gonzalo Inacio. Nuno Santos. Let's go on the counter, please. Nuno Santos. Pedro Gonzalez. Still Nuno Santos with the ball. Finds Pedro Gonzalez. Pedro Gonzalez. Nice cross, please. Yoquez. Penalty ref. Surely ref. Okay, half time, one all. Yoquez is falling a bit off the wayside here, so I'm going to put in Paulinho, I think. Um. Got a lot of shots started so far. Cool, that makes them happy. That's fine. I still want to win. But Yokra is 6.5. Isn't really doing stuff for me. Paulinho's not already had too much of a chance. But look at those stats compared. But I'll give I'll give Paulinho a run out. Because Aaron Asio at 6.5 as well. He isn't doing the best, but I don't really have another option. Maybe Mateus Race, the left side of centre back. Um you know, I'll leave Anasio for now. I'll only make the one change and we'll see what that does. Yoquez unlucky to get subbed off early, but I think he's just not playing too well. And Paulinho needs to get a run out, and I'm hoping he can he can provide the answer. Obviously, he scored the winner against Bovista in the league winning season, so so he can do the same. Resnada, Coates, Morita, Diomonde, still Diomonde, Coates, Morita finds Resnada, still Resnada here. Edwards. To Morita, good save by Joao Gonzalez. Near post, nearly got him out, but unlucky for Morita. Morita's got to take the corner, though. Let's see what we can do from here. Nice delivery in to... Try to go to Coates, but Morita's got it back out. Edwards from long range. Bang it. Oh, unlucky. Hits the, the bar, I think. I don't even know, but unlucky from Edwards there. I'm looking at the team. Inacio is still on 6.5, but so is Nuno Santos. So I think I might put Mateus Race in for Nuno Santos at this point. And then do maybe trink off Edwards. It was at 6.8, so it's not the end of the world. But I feel like maybe a, a pace injection could come in. So I'll, I'll bring trink on for now. Let's see what that does. We've still got two, I think, two more substitutes up the sleeve. So if necessary, we'll bring them on. But we might have to as the clock's keep ticking down. Not much has happened. So it's 73rd minute. I don't really know what substitution to do at this point. We've got a lot of. A lot of different players. I'm going to bring on Ezgayo, I think, for... I don't even know. Do I bring on Ezgayo? Oh, Morita and Hulman are pretty tired. So, Hulman for Morita, for Braganza. And then... I'll leave that for now. Let's see what we can do from here. Fresneda doesn't find anyone. Good save from Andrew. Let's see if we can get a counter-attack going on here. Unfortunately, not no highlight. End of the highlight for that one. Is it going to be a one or draw away? Oh, no. Okay, luckily he's missed. But we've got four minutes to try and do something here. So, I'm going to put everyone on sort of attacking formation. We'll do that and we'll bring Braganza and Adrian up. This will bring Adrian up there, attacking on support, and then have Braganza behind him as a deep line playmaker. I think that's fine. We'll, we'll do with that. Let's let's try that. We've got what we got four minutes to try and get something from here, unless this corner goes in, which I'll be very disappointed at. But you know, let's try it. Let's see what happens. They're wasting time from this corner, which only means one thing: they're probably going to score from it. Mateus race good header away. But it's only to Perez though. He doesn't get it too far. Bruno. Inacio gets rid, but it's only to Sasso. Okay, Makuta missed it. We've got four minutes to try and get something from this game. Can we try and do something here? Or will it just be a, a boring one or draw? They've got a highlight here. Let's see what, what happens. Massa. Diamonde, good inception. Mateus Race. Braganza. Adrian. Paulinho. Adrian, poor pass to Paulinho there. Makuta. Bosniak. Trincao gets there. Come on, Trincao. Do something, please. Trincao on the ball. Back to Andrew. Andrew, what's he going to do from here to Coates? Coates going backwards. I'm not liking this. 
he's got to go backwards to go forwards, I suppose. Matthias Race, Adrian. Where, he, where, is, where is this leading to? Diamonde, Adrian. Finds Pedro Gonzalez. In the box, Paulinho. Trincao still got it. Still Trincao. What, what's happening here? Trincao. Braganza. Coates. Back to Braganza. Braganza will shoot. What a stay the bar. That was, I think that was it. There's, I don't think we get another chance here, unfortunately. 94th minute. It has to be now. Never mind. Inacio. Get it back in the box, please. Braganza. It one or drop points again. I don't I, like. I don't know what's happening. We've got the chances. Thirteen shot seven. They are ten in three. XG was one one point zero eight to one point nine. To be fair, but I just don't know what's happening. Just the attack in front is not there. Um, that was simply not good enough. We should have won that match. Edwards and Credit Gonzalez seems demotivated. Why? Like ah oh, dear. Uh, I thought it was fascinating match. Fantastic strike was Makuta, even though the defenders let him wide open. So we drop points again. It's not ideal, but it's better than a loss. Uh, Makuta was very impressive. That's how I believe football should be played, and that's fine. So I guess we just have to keep pushing, I suppose, until we get somewhere. So of course, we're getting to the point is transfer deadline that you see. I put in an offer for Unibaji on a loan with an option to buy. So how this came about, it came up on my scouting list. I said, fine. It was one of the scouts that put him through. So it's a loan with an option to buy for 11 million. He doesn't feel interested, but, you know, it could change. And obviously, we've got deadline day. It's also saying that we want Patricio and Castiles, but that's obviously not happening at this point. Apparently, Pedro Gonzalez out to Newcastle. Edwards out to Wolves. And Mateus Reis out to AC Milan is also what's happening. But in between them, we've got a game against Dual Vicent. So, uh, Victoria Victor, Victoria is playing well. Fine. Um, so, yes, Dual Vicent is probably the, the active one that we're looking at. But there's still time. So, two pieces of information. Rooney Barshi is coming as a winger on loan. I sign him every FM. I love the guy. And Tiago Octavio is also leaving with a 50% sell-on fee, as usually we've done. Uh, just not developed. Fine, that's cool. But Rooney Barshi comes in on loan. We love to see it. Uh, where would it actually... So, I actually can't loan him until... Wow, what an error I've made. <laughs> I actually can't loan him until the 3rd of January. Man, I've been left red-faced. That is poor from me. But, okay. Probably should have checked that before. Um, but still options to do. Uh, Chico Lamba and these lot are not registered. We want them to leave. Cool. So, let's have a look at some other potential wingers that we could bring in quickly. Because uh, I thought Rooney Baj would be the one for us. But apparently not. But, you know, let's let's have a look. So we've got some loan offers from Rodrigo Ribeiro, and I think they're the perfect loan offers for him. S, uh, Belenich and Larea, both in the second division, both playing him as a regular starter. I think that's two very good options for him. So I'm going to send him there. Bit of a step up as well. Uh, Lank as well. That's fine. Regular starter. And here is the loan offer I made. Try and get us another winger in at short notice. Angel Correa. So very good stats overall as a backup winger, which is we got him playing in. It's very good. But also look how versatile he is playing Cam, left wing, striker. So I think very good overall. And we confirm that Dil Correa has come in. Dil Kalai and Chigan Lamba are failing to get loan offers, but that's fine. Um, so Andrew Correa has come in. Important player in his prime years and unlikely to improve. Squad registration, 100%. Add him to the squad. Uh, and we'll also say, as guy, mate, give him some welcome. So if we look at Angel Correa, good acceleration, good agility, good balance. He's probably better than most of our wingers right now. If we do a comparison with, let's say... Marcus Edwards, which is up here. So Correa is a little bit better mentally, and then attributes pretty much all the same, apart from speed is a bit better and technical. Uh, what about Trincao? Trincao is... If I can actually get to that screen. Where is Trincao? Should not be here. Can I not see him? Trincao Francisco. Again, and a career better mentally, speed as well. So I think it's definitely a good buy. Some of you might disagree, but that's fine. Caldas wants a Rodrigo Barrett. They're in the third division, so that's not one I want uh, you to go to. Uh, Rodrigo is rumored a loan away. He looking potential destinations. Nine hours to go, so there's still things that could be done, players to be sold, except oh, I didn't mean to set target. Um
What goal do I have in mind? What goal do I have in mind? Uh, number of goals, I suppose. Can you get 10 goals? 10 goals is too high. 7 goals. Fine, 7 goals. <laughs> okay, Diogo Travassos has been uh, sent on loan as well to Lank as well. Uh, so he is going to be playing as a regular starter as well, which makes it good for us. And I'm just going to say... Um, I've done the wrong thing again. Um, impact sub, uh, play consistent level, and I'll say seven. Come on, why are these players so like not uh, six point five really? What about six point seven? Fine. Players are so unambitious; it's unreal. Uh, could play match reports on them as well. So you may be thinking, what are you doing here? And the question is, or the answer is, I suppose, <laughs> why not? He's so not very good on this game but you know i like him and you know you know he bring him back you know I, I love him so that's why uh so he's back um probably never gonna play but i you know so just just a, a nice little one for him to come back and uh you may be thinking what on earth are you doing i'm also thinking the same thing but you know maybe it will improve the squad maybe it doesn't who knows so the transfer deadline has passed of course and you know didn't really get anyone out. Didn't really get anyone in. Of no, apart from Ankel Correa, but everyone else is sort of just okay being here for the moment. I think uh, we can still guys like Gonzalo Estevez, Tukalai, Tukalamba. Like there's loads of guys that we didn't manage to get loaned out, but they'll probably play with the B team. In terms of like the Premier League transfers, I don't know if there's any like big ones this season. Oh, this this is just in the Premier League. I think. Oh no. Um. So not a lot of people left. I suppose if we go date and then do it this way. Yeah, not a lot of people left on deadline day. There was no like big transfer, I don't think, um, from what I can see, apart from uh, any Palacio, obviously. Uh, but yeah, nothing really of note there, so that's fine. Um, but we've gone to the next game against Jill um, which will be the game straight after this, and we'll end it there. I really hope we can get a win, because a draw last game and a loss a few games ago is not good. But I'm hoping maybe the team is just taking a while to get, you know, get the team cohesion up. Maybe it will be better now. Uh, no one really left. Paulinho wanted to go, didn't go. Kawhi's wanted to go, didn't go. Pedro Gonzalez had wanted symbols to take his race. Everyone stayed put. So I'm hoping now everyone's here for the season. They're going to be a bit better. But, you know, I did just sign Yannick Palassi. So who knows? So Tottenham have come in with an offer for Morita on loan. And of course, I don't want to sell him on loan. But if we can get, I don't know, 40 million. Is that his release score? His release score is 38.5. No? Okay. Um, I'm only want to sell him for his release scores, so... 38.5. What about... thirty seven point five? No? Okay. The lowest I will go down to is... 37. You're offering 20, no chance. That might upset Morita, but, you know, they're not offering enough for me to even consider it. Um, but we also got the Europa League draw today. So, whew, we get to see who we get. And we're in pot two, I believe. I'm not going to do the whole draw. I'm just going to skip to the end and we can see what we get. So, Group B. Oh, group A, Liverpool, Sporting, Genk, and Kuraki. That is, I didn't expect to get Liverpool. So we got Liverpool, and Genk is not a bad team either. That, oh, that is so not good. <laughs> oh, well. Um, you know, we got to beat the big team in the competition. So average manager of sport has gone down. Not the great, not the greatest idea. So we're facing Liverpool, and I think that'll be like our first game as well. So, you know. So we made some changes to the team. Same back as, as usually, but I've moved Diamonde to the wide centre back and put Diamonde and put, sorry, put Kawhi in the main one. Brennan is guy for Fresneda. Correa gets his debut. Jokrez comes in still and, and uh, Pedro Gonzalez on the bench with guys like Jenny, Fresneda, Trincao, Briganza, Tez Reis, Paulinho, Edwards, Neto, who's still not fully fit, so I might not put Neto in. And you, let's just say we'll put Balassi on the bench for no reason. Uh, so we'll do that. And you know what? Balassi is going to lead this team to glory, I tell you. So let's see if we can get this win and see what happens. Diomonde, Morita, Coates. Diamonde. Let's see if having him out in this role like helps him more. Diamonde. Nice cross. Pedro Gonzalez is there. 
unfortunately can't get it straight into the hands of Reeds from uh, Gil Vicente. View Monde, Correa again. To Esgaio, still Esgaio. Nice cross. Correa, Angel Correa. Oh, that was a good save from Macarits to save it over. Correa's been doing wonders since being here so far. Six minutes in, he's already uh, controlling the game. Nuno Santos with the corner. Can it find someone? It finds Inacio. I unfortunately can't get it on target. To Morita. Hulmund. Pedro Gonzalez. Still Pedro Gonzalez. Will shoot, unfortunately. It's blocked by Gabriel Perea. So, another corner comes. Nuno Santos. Let's see what we can do. Finds Inacio, but still can't get it on target. There's two headers for Inacio there. Coates still with the ball. Can't get past Dominguez, but I guess that was that's what happens when you stand still, mate. So they're gonna go on the counter attack now, aren't they? Do you mind they made the tackle? Oh well done. Ah <sighs> man, this maybe I'm just not cut out for this game. But I don't understand what's happened there. Quite just lost the ball for no reason. And then Diamonde has like 10 years to make that tackle. Literally just put a foot in and then whoever that is, I think that's Inacio, just runs away from his marker. Leaves Deepu alone. Who scores? Brilliant. I've got a corner here. Morita. Can someone actually header it on goal this time? Morita. Coates. Come oh, on, man. No. Half time. Cool. We're playing awful. Thrash arms. We've been terrible so far. Um, substitutions need to be made, I think. Um, Nuno Santos for Jenny. Do we bring on Jenny here? Screw it. What can go wrong? We're already losing. Jenny. And this guy's been the best player on the pitch. And I'll leave Correa on because I don't think he's been worked for a 6.5. I think he's been pretty good. But let's see what happens. This guy being the best player on the pitch for us so far. Still is Gaio. I've jinxed this guy because he's running straight to the defender. Yokorez. Come on, just get the better angle shot than that, man. Yokorez strikes it straight to the keeper. Morita. Nice cross. Still got it. Diamonde straight into the hands of Macarites. Hail Correa. Still Correa. To Morita. In the box. Petro Gonzalez on his own. Jenny. Jenny Katamo. Super sub Jenny Katamo. I wasn't sure to bring him on, but that has proved me right. Jenny with his first goal for the club on this game. Obviously, he scored in real life, but love to see it. Great work from Morita and Correa there, I think. Unfortunately, Morita couldn't find Pedro Gonzalez or Yokorez. So Jenny goes, you know what? I'll just take it into my own hands. Bang. Oh, I took a deflection, but we don't care about that. One all. That's what we like to see. Morita. Correa. Yokorez. Great pass to Esgaio. Esgaio here. Morita. Why does Morita shoot? It's a good shot from Edwards who forces the block, but... You know, they say bring Morita off a That's fine. I'll do that now uh, after this highlight. More Diamonde. Oh, what a save. Coates to Edwards. Steel Edwards. Hulmund. Morita. Damn, that could have been a good send off him. Uh, in the 72nd minute, I might make some more subs. Okay, we've got a highlight. I think Hulmund and Yokerez will come off of Paulinho and Adrian. Yokerez misses out on the ball. Jenny. Come on, Jenny. You've been good for me this game. Jenny. Edwards. Edwards, good play. Jenny. Mateus Race. Hulmund. Where's Hulmund going? Coates. Still Coates. Braganza. Finds Correa. Correa. Edwards. Come on, nice delivery. Mateus Reyes. Can't get the shot on target, but Correa has been... I, don't, I understand what the ratings are like this game, because Correa has been, I would say, the best player on the pitch, uh, along with Jenny, of course, and Esgaio, but apparently 6.4, one of the worst players for us. Edwards. Correa. Could you imagine? Cool, that could lose us the game, but I think it's... I, I don't want to draw again, so... 90th minute, let's go. Macarizza, two. Diamonde, it's got to be now. Come on, Diamonde. Braganza, Diamonde. Braganza finds Esgaio. Esgaio. 
as guys got fast booter. Correa thought was going to get on the end of it, but apparently not. Oh, I haven't got my power attack now. Theo, Jenny, Braganza, Esgayo, still Esgayo, still Esgayo. Why? Just pass it, shoot, just do anything, man. Oh, no. Okay, Coates gets it out, but it's only gone as far as Felipe Silva. Murillo, Andrew, good save, but I think that might be the end of the game. Another draw. Oh, man, we need to switch things up. I, I think I feel like we might need a formation change. Unless we can go on the counter-attack here, but they're going to waste all the time in the world. So we need to try and get the ball here and go on the counter. Man, they're just taking their time ref. There's, there must be some sort of leeway to this, no? This should be going off like 10 seconds already. Coates. Conqueror. Please go on the counter-attack. Jenny. Jenny Katamo. Come on, Jenny. Come on, Jenny. Oh my god, Jenny's running through. Jenny! He saved it! No way I thought... How has he saved that? Come on. Literally last minute. Corner. Edwards. Coates. Can we get another chance? Correa. Deliver. Come on. How has Jenny missed that, man? Cut inside. Shot. Another draw. Another draw. Man, I'm shouting them all the time. Just because I feel like... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the formation. Maybe I just need to swap it out. But... So, I guess, do we try team meeting? Things haven't been going our way lately. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that didn't go well. Um, oh, that's fair enough. Um, that's not gone down well. Like I said, why are these players so unambitious? Like, lone targets. They're like, 10 goals as a striker? No thanks. So I've, I've given them all the sort of thing. I don't think the dynamics going to change that much. But climb out material is average. Manage, managerial stuff is average. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll end it there for today. Fortunately, the way I wanted to, even with the transfers, man, I just absolutely bugged out on some of them. I just totally forgot that he couldn't come because he's 17. So pause but um but yeah something we need to look on something we need to have a look at is just the team in general the tactics could be the training could just be everything just something is not working here and i don't know what it is if you know what it is let me know in the comments below but anyway i've been sam Sega. thank you for watching sporting fm and i'll see you next time peace <laughs>